Okay, what am I hearing? Why am I hearing that? Okay, we're live, everybody. Thank you so much for joining me. Happy Wednesday, everybody. It's officially hump day. The week is half over. I've got a green light on my broadcaster. Not sure why I'm getting a yellow warning on YouTube. Maybe that'll clear itself out in a little bit. I mean, it looks, the picture looks okay, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna hope for the best. Anyway, what a big day. Uh, big news. Bethesda announced the launch date of Starfield. That's right, the official launch date is, drum roll, September 6th of this year. They're gonna have a big dev walkthrough on June 11th. So we've all got that to look forward to. I'm really excited. I can't wait to learn more about the game. I mean, this is why uh, this is this is why I don't like to do any of the speculation YouTube content, right? Um, just because we never really know. Bethesda is in control of their publication schedule, their publication strategy. Only they really know what's going on, and anything anyone says about it is going to be from information they release or that's leaked. <clears throat> and there are so many uh, YouTubers right now whose speculation videos have been proven wrong, whose content that they've been publishing for months and months and months on end is now just thrown out the window with, with this uh, announcement as well. So that's why I like to focus on the lore of the game, the stories of the game, the characters, things that are tangible, not based on rumor, things we can all enjoy, that we can all talk about, that we can all participate in. And that's my focus. Uh, now I'm really excited about Starfield. In the announcement trailer that they, uh, that Bethesda released today, we did get to see some snippets of gameplay and hits. Looking good! I mean, I hate to get too optimistic. I'm hesitant to get too excited based on everything that's happened in the past the recent past, but I, I I couldn't help but get excited um, just seeing the character creation screen, exploring other planets, seeing some of the aliens, just it's looking really, really good, and I'm hoping for the best. Um, you know what? I, I have a sneaking suspicion that after what happened with Fallout 76, Bethesda is going to be <laughs> so incredibly careful. They're going to keep their cards close to their chest. They're not going to make promises they can't fulfill. And they are definitely not going to release a product that isn't ready for prime time. Uh, I mean, I say that now. I say that now. But you never know. It's just, I, th I get the impression from everything that I see that they kind of know they they screwed up with Fallout 76. And they they're trying to own it. And it's something you want to avoid. Like if you're serious about games and you really love the, uh, you really love gamers and you love these communities and the worlds that you build, you want to avoid that kind of thing. You want you want to avoid the sort of thing that happened with the uh, Cyberpunk 2077. And I think they're going to go out of their way to make sure that that doesn't happen. Now it could be that I'm completely naive, that I'm just being you know full of hope. But I don't think we're going to get another delay. It could be that by announcing September 6th that they're really going to be doing Q1 of 2024. Uh, who knows? But I think that they were being cautiously optimistic. My guess is that the game right now is more or less in a playable state. That they need these next six months to, to not overhaul the plot, to not overhaul the voice acting or even the technology that, that powers it, but to fine-tune it, to make sure that it's going to work on as many machines as possible right out the gate. That's my best bet. Hopefully I will not be proven wrong. 
All right, everybody, it's good to see you all here. Uh, time for some Hogwarts Legacy. Uh, a good, we're live on Facebook. Harold, Toby, Garrett, Jessica, Roman, Joseph, Toby. So good to see all of you. <clears throat> and it's good to see everybody on YouTube today. All of the regulars and the members of the Patreon supporters, Anonymous, Slatty Bardfast, Survivor from the Old Era, Cat5, Budweiser, Courtney Zayas, Deuteronomy, Alt Grendel, Nick Barnhouse, Wolfie Miwi, and Wolfie Miwi with the first super chat of the day says, Came back from my haircut just in time for Oxhorn, or is it Oxypoo? Sorry, XD. Carrot, carrot. Um, yeah, you can call me Oxypoo, that's fine. I don't mind. I can be Oxypoo to you. Thank you, Wolfie Miwi. Julian Z says, good morning, Ox. So good to see you on this Legacy Wednesday. Hope you're well. So excited for Starfield. What's your plan today? More side quests or exploring or main quest? Well, I'm, you know, many people have said in the past that if I don't do the side quests when I get them, I, you know, I advance too far in the primary plot, I could get locked out and miss out on side quests, and I don't want that to happen. So I'm going to continue with the side quests. We, <clears throat> the frustrating thing about yesterday... As, or, or Monday, as much as I enjoyed Monday's live stream, was that as we pursued side quests and whittled them down, completing side quests unlocked more side quests <laughs> that we then had to complete and whittle down before moving on to the other side quests on our list, which, uh, you know, has gotten shorter. It de definitely got shorter. But we're basically in the middle of completing one of the last side quests that we got yesterday. We're going to be clearing out a castle filled with goblins and all sorts of uh, uh, bad people. So we're going to go do that. And if I can, I'll tackle the primary plot today. I would like to. But I have a feeling we're going to be doing quite a lot of um, side quest content today. Actually, now that I think about it, there's really only two, maybe three side quests that we're still working on. So maybe it's maybe we're likely to tackle the main quest today. Survivor from the Old Era says, A poem. There once was a wizard named Ox who collected beasts in a box. It wasn't safe for the beasts to be free, so Ox sucked them out of their tree. Thank you, Survivor from the Old Era. It's just too dangerous in the meadows and cozy forests right outside of Hogwarts for Creator critters to live free. No, the safest thing is to kidnap them and put them in a bag. Which isn't poaching, by the way. That's not poaching. Those poachers are bad. But what we're doing is not poaching. I mean, if we run out of room, we just kind of sell them for the money. You know? But it's not poaching. Hey, we're freeing them. They don't want to be in those trees out in nature. <laughs> that's, that's too dangerous. Sean Fernando says, I hope you have... You have fun at school, Ox. Thank you, Sean Fernango. Von Reck says, Oh no, I'm catching a stream from the beginning. Here you are. Here we are. It's the beginning. Glad you're here. Sunny Fusion Sunrise says, No need to read. Okay. I won't read it, but I definitely appreciate it. Thank you so much, Sunny. Survivor from the Old Era says, Poem number two. <clears throat> After taking them from where they were, Ox harvested their magical fur. Now the beasts can't leave where they're at, and Ox has an upgraded hat. I'm liking this, Survivor from the Old Era. Your, your poetry, it's contextual, too. It's like based on what we are doing. I, I like it a lot. Uh, keep it coming. Thank you, Survivor. <laughs> King Onyx says, Hope you're doing well on this Wednesday morning. What's more unbelievable than a talking dog? A spelling bee. Love you, Ox. Cheers. Thank you, King Onyx. Another wonderful addition. John DeGM Berardino says, It's strategic survival relocation. Not poaching. Oh, I like that better. The more words you use, the more official it sounds, and the safer it sounds. I like lots of words. 
to describe things that can be described in simple single words. That's great, John. Julian Z says, Ox, you have the Hall of Herodina and the Summoner's Court side quests. And I think that's it. How long they both take depends on your skill. Ooh, ouch. Okay, so it's skill-based. That's right, I'm doing the ones in Hogwarts now. So if it takes all broadcasts, it's because my skill isn't up there. Oh, I see what you did there now. Either that was really tricky, <clears throat> or you literally have no faith in my, my gaming abilities, Julian Z. Well, uh, I have a feeling that your trickiness is going to pay off. I'm going to be knocking out this battle so good. I will knock out the battle so good. Von Reck gifted 10 Oxhorn memberships to the community. Thank you, Von Reck, and congratulations to Pyro, Jason P.O.S., James Naylor, Kimo Sabi, Mr. Bear, Dario Benjamin, the Crafting Gamer, Devastator91, Da A, and Ranger Conquest. That's amazing. Thank you so much, Von Reck, and congratulations to everyone who snagged a membership. <clears throat> All right. I guess I, I wonder what the difference is between hunting and poaching within the context of this game. Because poaching, <clears throat> poaching is just hunting without permission, right? It's just hunting on lands that aren't yours or on government-owned government, <clears throat> government -owned lands where you don't have a permit. But what government are they violating? <clears throat> By, by hunting magical beasts in this universe. The Hogwarts government? The, ma the wizarding world? Is there a government of the wizarding world that uh, adjudicates over which animals can and cannot be harvested? Julian Z says, I never questioned your skills, Ox. I'm just saying, your last summoner's court took a few tries. <laughs> But to be honest, I found this one easier than the first match. Okay. Thank you, Julian Z. Look, I, I learn is what happens, right? I, it may take me a couple of tries, but when the knowledge gets there, it's like flypaper. It's stuck. I got it, and I capture it. I gain the skill, and I don't, I don't uh, have retrograde motion, right? I, I, I keep going forward. So you should expect great things is what I'm trying to say. Expect great things, Julian Z. <clears throat> oh, that's right. I forgot how Scottish my character looks right now. Padre says, when the smog clears in California, UCLA. UCLA. Oh, thank you. Do gun manuals have a troubleshooting section? Tried calling the Tinnitus helpline. No one picked up. It just kept ringing. The Tinnitus Hotline. Never trust a train. They have loco motives. It's trains with their 
Locomotives. Morning Ox says, Padre, Padre, so good to see you today. Thank you for that. Julian Z says, I'll take your word for it, Ox. Go, Ox, go. You can do it. Oh, great. Now you're all going to expect big things. That's what I said. Okay, thank you, Julian Z. Cat5 says, the difference is you don't kill to get the mats. I mean, I don't think so. If you... Like, even in our universe, if you take an animal from its natural habitat, even if you don't kill it, that's still considered poaching unless you're legally allowed to do so, right? I mean, in, in the U.S., in order to hunt in the wild, you have to go get a hunter's permit, and you can only do it at certain times of the season, and then they've got, you know, quotas where you can only fish for so many fish or kill so many deer per season, and you got a tag. Like, there's a lot that you got to do to hunt legally, even in publicly owned forests here in the U.S. And you can't just go and say, well, I'm not hunting, and, or I'm not poaching. I, I, I didn't kill it. I just brought the deer back with me and waited for its antlers to fall off. That's, that's what I did. And I think it's still technically considered poaching. Pavel says, Department of Magical Beasts in the Ministry of Magic. Oh, it's, it's got a... What? Really? There's, there's the legit department that handles that. Okay, well, I'm glad they covered that in the lore. For a minute there, I kind of thought that they just didn't cover it. Oh, no, they did. Von Rex says he's just losing summoners for the, for the lore, so you all know what it sounds like when you fail at games. Such dedication. That's right, Von Rex. I mean, I try to be all-encompassing on my broadcast, and I realize that not everyone is a pro gamer like me. I mean, we pros with our YouTube channels and Twitch streams, and we're the pro, <clears throat> the pro gamers. And no, you're not all like that. And so what I do is I fail on purpose just so that we can have a more wholesome experience, right? We want the full picture of what the game is like. What is it like to fail a charisma check? What is it like to lose a battle? I know because I watch Oxhorn and he covers it all. That's why I do it, guys. <laughs> Samantha Rooney says there's a side quest line that deals with poaching. I mean, I feel like I've been doing a lot of side quest lines dealing with poaching, but uh, hopefully, hopefully there's one that uh, tackles the lore of it a bit more thoroughly. I'm excited for that. Alt Grendel says you're at. You are acting as a volunteer to conserve the unique flora and fauna of the magical forests. Is that what I'm doing? I'm volunteering for this position, eh? I'm a conservationist. Oh, I like that a lot better. I'm not a poacher. I'm a conservationist. I conserve them by placing them in my magical bag. Where they can be conserved. All right, let's go. Come on, horns, bottom. Wizard kind. What was that? No, I'm not alone. Ooh. Whoa. I can't press W. There we go. Perhaps not the best place to be caught alone. Stone walls. I meant to throw there and not use my special powers. Hope I didn't waste it. Okay, well somebody somebody else is here. Revelio. Revelio. 
Okay, so they're not gonna all come streaming like in a God of War game. My family weren't in the mines at one time or other. Okay, so it's the point of that just to find a more stealthy approach. I'm guessing, because I don't think it actually gives me access to another area. Oh, there's a big old troll. Great. Revelio. This is the spot on the map. I'd best have my wits about me. Okay, so we've got that box over there, which presumably is going to allow us to sneak in behind them. Let's try it. Wingardium Leviosa. Any who approve. Hello? If only Renrock were here to see this! Confringo! Leviosa! This looks like trouble. That back door helped us much at all. We seem to just uh, appear right in the middle of the action. But this should be the staircase that we would have otherwise come up, right? Revelio. Or not, no. Hey, collection updated, laceration too. Nice. Well, I can't wait to go over all of those in my loom a bit later. Collection updated fighter troll. Oh god. This just leads to the boss fight of the fighter troll. Confringo! Uh. That was a close one. Mm -hmm. 
actually not too bad. I managed to get off a Protego ch uh, combo ready. there, which I'm excited about. Okay, so we've got another floating box and a chest. Rachel says, Ox, I recommend pulling up a guide for a demi-guy statue so you can hit them when you are close, uh, close by. Polygon has a good one. You will soon be annoyed by being locked out of loot without level three. Oh, I know you're right. Yeah, yeah, I probably should. Okay. So this is just to get back. Wingardium Leviosa. Leviosa. Revelio. Okay, so that was just a boss fight. Or to gain access to a boss fight. To continue with the quest, we, we have to retrace our steps and go back down. This castle's hiding all sorts of secrets. And then continue this way. Caro Ruins, enter. Oh. Well, did we get everything here? Yeah, it's got a check mark on the Bandit Camp Castle. What will we find in here? I wonder. Revelio. Adelaide's instincts were spot on. To Revelio. Whoops, looks like I um, missed out on some dialogue there. Compulsor. By being too aggressive with my Revelio. Revelio. Explore the goblin outpost and find Rowan Oaks. Huh. Revelio. Okay, so we got a chest here. Oh, wait, no, it's a dead end. Yay. Revelio. Okay, this was just a dead end. That's great. 
great news. It means I didn't go the wrong way and I'm not missing. Oh, wait a minute. Crap. No, I came up from there. All right, so I think all roads lead here. I think the other path leads here as well. A human's word is worthless. This prisoner owes us the metal we were promised. Defend us. I'm a wizard sniper! Long range fighter! Hey! Whoop, there's another one. Ah! Uh. Laura says, Ox Craig has terminal cancer and wanted to express his thanks for all your tips, guides, and lore, and making him a Fallout fan. Uh, thank you, Laura. Uh, I don't see Craig's... Oh, there, there it is. I do see it. Craig, I see your message. Uh, sorry to hear about your diagnosis. Uh, thank you for coming by and talking with us. I'm grateful to, to learn uh, that my videos have helped out as they have. And I hope you can watch for some time to come. Beetle uh, says, Subox just finished House of Ashes stream epic. Glad you enjoyed it. Had a lot of fun with the Dark Pictures anthology. Candle Six says, Howdy Ox, hope your day is going well. Hope you have fun with the Hufflepuff classmate stories. They're pretty great, especially Poppy's story. I can't wait to grab them. Thank you for that one. Sithgasm says, Starfield release date is 9623. I know, we talked about it earlier. I'm so excited. Padre says, before crowbars were invented, crows had to drink alone. Norwegian ships have barcodes, so you can Scandinavian. Scandinavian. To some, marriage is a word. To others, it's a sentence. Bit dark there. Have you noticed the and IRS spells theirs? Very nice, thank you that one Padre uh, quite a host of good ones there Scandinavia huh. Revelio Incendio. Revelio. A boy left door. Ah! How to work. Arrest the momentum. Okay, so we need to use the environment to open this door. That's the way forward, which is great because I can finish exploring everything not on the other side of that door to be thorough. Revelio. Depulsive. 
Hey. Come on. Finally. All right, but I do keep hearing Rebellion. them. So I think we've got a few more before we get on the other side of that door. You want to come back on to me? Wait a minute. I'm getting so confused and turned around. Is that where we came from? Hold on. I need to make sure that I connect all the dots here. Before moving on. Ah, here we go. Yay. All right. This was the door. Remember, I went through there. Alohomora. Treasure? You only have Van Rock to blame. Revelio. I like how after his battles, Hornbottom, he looks at his dead foe and he just, he sees all this death and he goes, well, it's not my fault. You only have yourself to blame. Or you only have Ran Rock to blame. <laughs> Hello, where does this go? Connecting the dots. Hey. I'm enjoying this dungeon so far. Gear slots full! Okay. Worse. We'll destroy that. Oh no, I lost it, didn't I? Oh wait, no. I looted it, but it gave me a courtesy warning. Revelio. No. <sighs> Telling me that I was out of room. Accio. Wingardium Leviosa. Revelio. Okay, if that made the loop, then this is where we came from. Great. So then we have to make a choice. Do we go through the vault door or do we continue exploring this big castle? Which way pro uh, progresses the quest? I think that does. I think the vault door is not the way out. I mean, I could be wrong. One way or another, we'll get what we're owed. No! I will wait for this team. Who knows? Let me. Defend us. Glaciers. Stop 
Let's fall. Right, I should just get rid of everything green. Otherwise, I'm gonna run out of room. <coughs> oh man, I'm running out of green stuff to destroy. There we go. Yeah, lots of green to destroy. Destroy. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Revelio. Come from Revelio. Oh, I didn't fully explore this room. Confringo. Secret chamber. Huh. Oh yeah. Rebellion. Oh, More green stuff to destroy. Gotta make sure I've got room for the loot. Is that it for this room? Revelio. Yes. <laughs> Off. Rebellion. They're dead, Hornbottom. You can't talk to them if they're dead. Revelio. Ranrock has fooled you all to your own demise. There he is, Roland Oaks.
I wonder if Roland Oaks is anything like Overnight Oaks. Okay, I missed a bunch of loot up there. Okay, this is the destination. Let's see what other paths Revelio. we could have used to get here so that we maximize our loot exposure. That's right, I'm, I'm using uh, business speak to talk about gaming. I'm not looting, I'm maximizing my loot exposure. I missed some stuff up there. Gosh, this just this dungeon is huge. Rebellion. We'll start up and go down. Hey! Revelio. Magical paintings, all right. I am tired of seeing the same paintings over and over again, so I'm glad to be collecting more. Well, I'm topped off on Wigan Weld Potions. Go down. This should lead to the side pas passage. Ne no, it's a different room. Roland Oak's wand. This must be Mr. Oak's wand. Perhaps now he can set himself free. Revelio. Hello, Mr. Oaks. Yes, I'm here. They've taken my wand. This cell has an enchanted lock. I have experience with these locks, but I need my wand if I have any chance of opening it. Look for a boiler door. I've heard them speak of it. Fortunately, I've already found your wand, Mr. Oaks. Thorough. Oh, you found it. Pass it to me. Hurry, before they come. I must get out. Hurry. So if, um... If wizards in um, Africa don't need wands to use their magic, why do wizards in Hogwarts need their wands? Okay. There we go. You did it. Oh, you found my wand and wait. You're a student? Oh, we must get you to safety immediately. It's dangerous. It's all right, Mr. Oaks. Yeah. I've dealt with these goblins before. Dear Merlin, you're either very lucky or very talented. Well, how did you find me? I'm a friend of Adelaide's. She was worried about your business with Ranrock's loyalists. Oh, she was right to be. I couldn't go through with the agreement, and when I told them, I ended up blindfolded and behind bars been locked in that infernal cell for so long they'd forgot I was even there. I overheard things. If only I could reward you for what you've done. Blasting goblins stole every canut on me. All I can say is thank you, truly. The goblins stole all my canuts. <laughs> I am so immature. 
Oh, I'm a sophomore in a man's body. What's wrong with me? All right. You mentioned you overheard things. <sighs> Sad tale, really. I think I know where Ramrock's unfortunate vendetta against Wizardkind began. Although dragon breeding was outlawed by the Warlocks Convention of 1709, Ranrock stumbled upon an illegal dragon camp. He was young, found the creatures fascinating. He'd visit the camp in secret whenever he could, never making his presence known. After weeks of sly surveillance, he finally summoned the courage to speak to the wizard in charge. Ranrock wanted to join them and the creatures. The wizard happened to drop his wand. Ranrock saw an opportunity. He picked it up, went to hand it back as a, a means of introducing himself. The sight of a goblin with a wand sent the wizard into an instant rage. He beat Ranrock near to death. Ever since, Ranrock has despised wizard kind, sees us all as cruel. Oh man, another one of those, those stories where the victim becomes the victimizer. Survivor from the old era says, They tick me nuts! Knuts! Me knuts! That's what goblins do, they take all your knuts. Grant Snyder says, D's knuts. Hey, hey, we've got limits here now. Come on. Am I right that you speak gobbledygook? <laughs> Unbeknownst to Ramrock's fiends, I do. I've always had an affinity for goblin culture. Knew I wanted to be a metal trader ever since I was a lad. It wasn't easy learning the language. It's, it's complex, and my memory's as weak as my knees these days. But after decades working with fine goblin folk, I grew fairly proficient. At least, I'd like to think so. This is really interesting uh, backstory on Ranrock. I hope we get to confront him and... maybe reason with him. I'm grateful I was able to help you, Mr. Oaks. Adelaide thinks the world of you. Oh, and I her. She's become quite savvy to my trading habits, always analyzing my detailed owls. Oh, if only I hadn't resorted to trading with such fiends. A lesson I shan't soon forget. Having my wand back is like being reunited with an old friend. I must return home and inform Adelaide of my safety. Will you be all right? I'll be fine, Mr. Oaks. You get back to Adelaide. I assure you, her worries outweigh yours. Oh, I'm anxious to see my dear niece. And then I plan to travel far from here for my next round of trading. Thank you. May life reward you justly for your deeds. Be well, my friend. All right. Out he goes. Mr. Rokes was lucky. Ranrock's lot would never have freed him. Why did he go back into the cell? Oh, he's gone now. Quest complete. The tale of Roland Oaks. Revelio. I, every time I hear his name, I think of like a cereal brand. I don't, I don't know why, he just reminds me of cereal. Uh, do we need to leave to fast travel out? Is this, <laughs> yeah, we don't have access to the map. So he could zap out, but we couldn't. Oh. Why is there a room on my mini map? You see that? There's a, there's a room on the other side of this wall on my mini map. And yet nothing I can interact with here. Maybe it's a room above me. Mini map, oh mini map, why do you lie to me? There it is, you can see it again right there. There, it's on the other side of this wall. Revelio. Maybe it's not, maybe it's just a quirk. Wingardium Leviosa. The quirk of the map. Pavel says wand and conduits, or wands, are conduits of magic. With it, spells are stronger and more focused. 
Less chance of harmful effects if the spell fails. I see. Okay, that makes sense. Thank you, Pavel. And Julian C says, lol, Ox, it's partially your fault. All out talks of balls finally got to you. <laughs> also, money in Wizarding World goes beyond canets, silver sickles, and golden galleons. Getting all my galleons and sickles and canets in one place. Gotta make sure my canets are in order. For the future. Pass down my canets to my heirs. No, that doesn't sound right. Out we go! If I can find it. Hey. Revelio. Right, and I think I got everything here. I don't like the looks of that encampment. We're in the encampment, Hornbottom. Okay. Now, was there anything nearby that I want to tackle before I move on? Niffler, I got the Nifflers. Puff skein, I've got puff skeins. All right, I think I'm good for now. So I can't, I can't turn the quest in. I can't talk with her to, to let her know that her, her uncle is safe. Okay. Well, let's go. Uh, we got a bunch of stuff in our inventory that we need to discover. Projection goggles. That's it. I thought we had a lot of stuff that we needed to identify. Guess not. 76, 79, 59, 62. But if I upgrade this, will it be better? Let's try upgrading that to see if we can get higher armor factor. Yeah. Wait, no. I see it doesn't add to it. So it's a defense upgrade of plus six. All right, so this is still better. These are better. Trade slot level two, herbology one. Worse, worse. Level locked, level locked, but those are both worse and worse. Worse. Worse and worse. Worse, worse, worse. Okay. Well, now that I've collected a bunch of stuff, uh, and I'm starting to get really good gear that I'm not cycling through very quickly, Let's go ahead and change appearance so that we don't look comical. Hold on, let's get, get our collections. No, it's challenges, isn't it?
All right, I got a new uh, trait recipe. New robes. Good spiders. All the stuff. <laughs> it's been a while. <laughs> I've been neglecting this. Ancient Maze Magic Power Reward. Additional capacity added to your Ancient Magic Meter. Oh, man. Broom Appearance Reward. Night Dancer Broom. Cool. Increased storage for gear. Oh, I forgot to unlock that? Really? Wow. Field guide pages. I think I'm stocked up on those for now. Room of requirement. Rescue beasts. Magic chime spellcraft. Billy wig hive spellcraft. Gear trait recipe. Ancient magic. Okay. Back to inventory now that we've unlocked everything. Well, let's go to gear. Okay, let's see what appearances we can get. We can't preview it by hovering over? No. Checkers. That's a lot of different gloves. Fancy. It's a freaking gauntlet. All right, well, I don't want to be a medieval mage. Let's see, those are nice. Like those. Those are nice. I like that. That's nice and simple. Let's do brown gloves. Okay. Eyewear. Whoops. A mask. So many cosmetic options. Okay, kind of like that. Wow. An asylum mask. <laughs> Those dragon glasses are just goofy. Okay, well, let's see. Yeah, no. I do like these. Let's go with that. Hat, I mean, it's hard to beat the derby, but let's see what options I've got. Oh, it's a it's a knight's helmet. Wow, I could be a medieval knight. Nice. I haven't even bothered to look at all this, have I? Ooh, that's kind of cool. It's like a witch hat, but for travel. Dapper. Did they even have trilbies back then? I feel like uh, trilbies and fedoras are more of a 20th century thing. I do like that. Yeah, I like that too. What on earth is that? Now that's a fancy top hat. All right, we'll stick with what we know. Now, neck items. Whoops. Lots of scarves. These are just big. I mean, I don't want a big scarf. I want something small. These are huge. Just big, woolly scarves. 
I like the texture of that. That one has teeth. Patterns are just so... Oh, that's nice. Very simple, I like that. I also like that. Okay, I'm thinking that... That... Oh, there's these two. Or I could turn it off completely. So, well, we'll go with that for now. Padre says, what does a squirrel eat at a fair? Acorn dog. A corn dog. Acorn dog. What did the nut say? Oh, these are nut themed? Really? After that diatribe, you're going on nut themed dad jokes. What did the nut say when chasing the other nut? I'm a cashew. Better run fast, nut. I'm going to cashew. Beer nuts cost $5 a bag, and deer nuts are just under a buck. Huh? <laughs> Who answers the door at the nut house? The peanut butler. Ugh. Ugh. Okay, uh, I think the biggest change is I gotta get rid of this cape. I'm wearing a freaking cape. All right, that's a jacket. Another cape. A big old robe. Uh, too grandiose. Wow! It's knight's armor. <laughs> Is this made from skin? Eesh. For traveling, I don't like it. Yeah, it's all right, it's close. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, that's more of just a, a traveling jacket. There you go, there's the Maxon coat. More capes. Okay, I like this. I like that a lot. Now for the outfit. Which is gonna be hard to see underneath the jacket. Right, we need to take this off in order to be able to see the outfit. All right, wow, what is that? It's another knight thing. More medieval knights. Yeah, that's nice and simple. Top of the class ensemble. That's a sportsman garb. See, this is why I've avoided doing this the entire broadcast, because it takes up an enormous amount of time. Now, these are all very preppy. Which I suppose makes sense, given the context of the game that we're playing. I like that. I also like the simplicity of that. <laughs> what is this? 
Celtic attire. Okay. So let's see. We've got this. Which I like. And then wasn't there another one that I liked? No. Yeah, it was this. He looks really warm in that. He's already got the scarf. All right, so let's see. Blue with gold tie or long pants. Yeah, I like that one better. All right, now I'm not too pleased about the scarf again. I, I realize I'm spending way too much time on this, but it's just really bold. Actually, this is the best option. I mean, I could just turn it off. Is he wearing an ascot? Wait a minute. I didn't mean to put him in an ascot. Oh, that's the robe itself. Talk about layers. Jeez. Okay, we're gonna go with this. That way he's not wearing an ascot and a scarf and a tie. All right, back to scarf. If we if we switch to this one, is it just gonna look like way too much? Too many layers? No, that's not too bad, actually. Alright, we'll go with that. Alright. I took some time. I made him look less ridiculous. Now, broom. Um, here's my new broom skin. Okay, looks all right. But I still like that one better. Jillian Z says, Ox, take all the time you want. Fashion thoughts with Ox. I mean, look, I think I did okay. He doesn't look like a comic book character. He doesn't look like a superhero. He doesn't look like I'm the main character. Well, he does a little bit because he is out of uniform. All the other students are strictly in Hogwarts uniform. Uniform, But, you know, he looks like he's traveling. He looks like he's wearing normal traveling attire. Okay, let's view upgrades. Can't afford it. Ooh, I've got Nifflers. That's right, let's go get rid of our Nifflers. Move it. Okay, we've got one Niffler. No, we've got two, two Nifflers. Well. three. We've got three of everything else. Let's see, we don't need a lot of, we don't need bogeys. So, we've got a horned guy here, which looks great. There, there. I'm not going to hurt you. Species limit reached. What? Sell beasts at Brood and Peck to open space for this specimen in the vivarium. Species four of four. I could only have four species? Well, I mean, I haven't used, I haven't needed, um. Everything's all right now. Frog bogeys for anything yet, so. Well, that's really annoying.
Okay, let's go back here. Actually, no, let's do some conjuration because we unlocked some new stuff, didn't we? Yeah. A billywig hive, a hive built to host a buzzing band of billywigs. Best handled with care. An enchanted chime that produces soothing melodies. A billywig, okay, so can I, so I conjured it. Can I harvest from it? Breeding pen. A breeding pen can be used to breed two beasts and produce offspring. All right, I need to go buy a breeding pen from Tomes and what's it? Okay. Um, I've already looted it, right? No. We're so close together. All right, any more? Yeah. Done, done, done. Nope. Done, done. Done, done. Done, done, done. Nope. Um, I can't believe I, I, I'm limited to four different species. Redwood, the elf says, if you do more quests, more vi vivariums will unlock. That's great, Redwood. Thank you. Padre says, I got over my addiction to chocolate, marshmallows, and nuts. I won't lie. It was a rocky road. I met some chess players in the hotel lobby. They were bragging about how good they are. It was chestnuts boasting in an open foyer. It's not pronounced foyer, I don't think. I think it's pronounced foyer, not foyer. Anyway, thank you, Padre. One Niffler fur. Okay, a few traits. Increased damage by all plants. Duck bogs, goblins, and fury, dark mongrels. Ancient magic. All right. Whooper feather and thestral hair. I can't upgrade that. Chomping cabbage. Goblins and fury. Greatly increases damage of all spells. Greatly increases ancient magic meter fill rate. Yeah. I need deer qual feather. Oh, I gotta. I have to have an ingredient for this too. Oh crap. Kniesel fur. So it looks like I'm 
stuck to the first tier. Okay. Uh, wait, wait, what has it got so far? Right now it's got Incendio, Ancient Magic Throw, Incendio, I've got another Incendio, Cursed Targets. Right, we don't need another incendio. Let's do. Decreases damage from goblins. Okay, so we've got ancient magic, chomping cabbages, goblins, cursed target. I'm not doing a lot of cursing. So let's do. Incendio. No, in theory, goblins, duck box, dark mongrels. I mean, I don't need to worry about that. Ancient magic throw. That must be the one that was already on it. Incendio. Okay. I am upgraded. I've discovered Take everything. Things. You should be proud of all the potions you've brewed. I can't carry any more Wigan Weld. I need to start using potions more often in combat because um because I'm starting to maximize my inventory space. Yeah, I'm just not using potions very often, aren't I? Okay, everything is looted, and I think we're done. Wait, no, we gotta go sell. Let's go to Hogsmeade really quickly and sell stuff. We have everything a young student might need when it comes to potions. Have a good look around. Here you found a bit of treasure in the forest. <laughs> Was never one for adventure myself. Disarming one, I need to find that because that's a pretty cool one to have. Uh, all right, it's level locked, but it's worse. Light nightwear? Why even have nightwear in this game? 
Thank you again for delivering those potions to Madame Lawang. Saved me a lot of time and trouble. Okay, does he have anything I need? I mean, I'm, I'm finding it all. I hope to see you again. Farewell for now. All right, now let's empty our bag of critters. We need to go to Brood and Peck. Sorry if there's a smell. New batch of toad hide. A new batch of toad dot toad died? Ew. Now, what sorts of beast byproducts might you be looking to acquire? Okay, uh, well, let's sell most of my toads. I've got so many. I'll keep two. Do I have enough males and females? I think I do. All right, I should probably go buy a breeding pen, huh? Unicorn hair, can I capture unicorns? I'll not mind seeing you here again. Consider you welcome. Proprietor Ellie Peck is a fierce protector of beasts and will give you a fair price for any beasts in need of a safe home. You know, as opposed to putting them back out in nature. Brood and Peck is the shop to visit for beast byproducts like Fwooper Feathers and Niffler Fur. Whoa. Can I capture that? Oh, this beast cannot be rescued. Okay, now we need to go to Tomes and Scroll. Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. Let's see if I remember how to get there without using fast travel. Hello there. Come on in. Plenty to look at here. Uh, chopping, dung composter, hopping pot, material refiner, large pot, medium pot, pot, pot. Where do I get the one for breeding? It wasn't at the, the pet place. And it's not here. Let me know if there's anything else I can do to help. All right, well, I'll have to figure that out later. Now, I think we've emptied our bags, which is great. Let's go back to Hogwarts here. And there was a quest that chat wanted me to do here. This one. Track quest. Set waypoint. I guess I have to unlock it with the uh, through the challenges tree. I'd rather go alone. To a dance? Why not? In fact, I think they should insist. Ooh, there's a statue them. here. Why? 
Revelio. Not a statue, but a treasure. Alohomora. That's right, I need to go through and unlock all these doors, don't I? Ghost Boner says Deke will give you a breathing quest later and you get the spellcraft then. I see, thank you, Ghost Boner. More Revelio. gloves. Possible classroom games. Levitation lesson. Encourage students to levitate blocks through raised hoops or similar. Disarm and dodge. Hone expelleramus and reflexes. Targets on a tangent. Back to basics with casting practice on targets. Enchanted to move quickly. Whatever we got up here. Revelio. Alohomora. Revelio. Dark Tower Cell. It is said that centuries ago, a charms professor kept a troll here on which students could practice particularly challenging spells. Shocking to be sure, but perhaps unsurprising during a time when Quidditch involved the use of live snidgets. Whatever that means. One can only wonder what it may be used for in the future. Revelio. Alright. <laughs> Putting Aloha Mora to good use. Found that old uniform. <laughs> well done. Ugh. It's about time Hogwarts put someone like Black in charge. Can I help you? I believe you can. I'm Sophronia, by the way, and I need help from someone who's at least a fifth year. Are you familiar with Herodiana Byrne? <laughs> Don't answer that. Of course you're not. No one seems to know of her but me. She's only the single greatest Depulso master of all time, even taught at Hogwarts, briefly. Well, she sounds fascinating. How interesting. I'm amazed I've never heard of her. It's a travesty she's not more well known. I often read about great witches in my limited free time. There are many. Whilst reading about her, I learned that she built a secret Depulso training room here at Hogwarts. But in typical clever Herodian fashion, one cannot access it unless one knows De Pulso, which of course, third years aren't taught. And you're a third year, so... Quick one, aren't you? According to what I've read, her signature outfit may still be there. I would love to see it. Would you get Herodiana's signature outfit and show it to me? A signature outfit? Okay. Padre says, did you know that ton, spelled backwards, is nut? No, it's not. It's... What is an acorn? In a nutshell, it's an oak tree. Uh, not every legume can be a nut, but a pecan... Pecan? Pecan? Did you know that the Little Mermaid wears an algebra to math class? 
An algae bra. Why? Thank you, Padre. That was great. Julian Z says, Ox, you also have the Summoner's Court quest. That's right, I do. I've got a lot to do. Let's get it done. How did Herodiana Byrne become famous by casting De Pulso? She once saved orphans from a wild graphhorn by banishing it over Stonehenge. That's on Salisbury Plain. She once banished a meddlesome dark wizard all the way to Durmstrang while she was in the Alps. That one may have been exaggerated, but lots of the stories about her certainly aren't. What ends up happening to Herodiana Byrne? In her later years, she taught at Hogwarts, but only for a short while, just long enough to build a secret hall, it appears. Then one day, she just disappeared. Some say she actually banished herself. No one knows for sure. Hmm. I wonder if we will find this hero Deanna Brine or Byron. If you tell me where to go, I'll see what I can do about it. Simply go to the Hall of Herodiana. It's at the base of the Defense Against the Dark Arts Tower. There, you'll find a series of Depulso puzzles concealing pieces of Herodiana's ensemble. Very well. I shall let you know if I find anything. Depulso. I can't wait to see Herodiana's famous ensemble. Perhaps I'll make myself a copy. Ensemble. Suppose I should look for that secret hall Sophronia told me about. Yes, it that does is why, sound interesting. That is why I got the quest there, If Hornbottom. it isn't the trick, Galleon's and a historian's uniform. It was brilliant solving those old treasure maps. God. That voice just does not fit a child. Revelio. <laughs> that is an ancient beggar who sells you a, a gypsy potion in, like, Egypt or something. That's not the voice of a child. Entrance to the Hall of Herodiana. Hall of Herodiana. Better go inside and find those puzzles. Interesting. I wonder how she created this hall. Maybe it was another room of re requirement. Now to see if Herodiana Byrne was as good as Sophronia said she was. Alright, so we've got puzzles here. What can we interact with? Revelio! Depulso! Well, I guess it would be too much to hope that you can solve everything with Depulso. That appears to be a chain that I can pull. Accio! Oh, I needed to go down. Right. Descendo. Revelio. Okay. Propendo. Treasure. Well, I still don't know what that does. Ah, 
here. But, I mean, at least I think I know what this does. Okay, I mean, anything else here? I don't think so. Rebellion. Rodinia's cape. Revelio. Targeting one block, not all three. Oh my god. Alright, um. Let me also. I mean, I feel like it's always a crapshoot. Which spells work on what stuff? So far, the only spell in this Depulso maze that I've gotten to work is Accio. Depulso, a little bit, but. Hit that thing with a regular attack? Oh. I see. The switch resets everything. Oh, Good it's a know. reset switch. Okay. Right, um. Uh... Wingani and Leviosa. Leviosa! that way towards me it won't now because they're together We could get that, but not... Oh, I see. Okay. Accio.
Whoops. I did something wrong here. Von Rick says, Acupol, Depulso Push is all you got. All right, thanks. Uh, so I need to stack that on top of that so I can get the chest up there. Um, but the thing is... Acupol. Once they touch, they connect, but... Well, that's going to get me up, but it's not going to get me that. I mean, maybe? Yep. And out we go. All right. A little more tricky. There's a gap on the other side of that. Revelio. This reminds me of control. But I don't see any more chests. I think we're getting the hang of this now. Just one left. Nerodini is the time. Go straight across. What happens if I'm standing? Rebellion. Oh, and there's a chest over there. <laughs> oh, tricky. How am I gonna get that up? Can I stand on it? Capulso. Accio. No, not while standing on it. Oh, tricky. Could I just, uh... No. Well, let's see what happens. Depulso! it up. Padre says, uh, we were joking about you being a pro gamer, but realistically, it's kind of like watching a sibling play a game with the smart-ass comments from the peanut gallery. Honestly, that's entertainment in itself. <laughs> that's the vibe I've been going for. Just that, that older sibling <laughs> playing game and enduring smart-ass comments. <laughs> All right. Uh... Let me change this up just so that. Akio. So it doesn't go this way though, which is kind of what I wanted. Uh. All right, so from here, I can't push, I can't pull, it's stuck. Uh. Huh. All right, so I can do one thing. I can push. Or I could pull, but I can't jump that. I can't uh, leap over this. Okay, so there's only one thing I can do. Von Rick says, don't listen to Padre. He's telling the truth. Thank you, Von Rick. I can't levitate it. I could pull it, 
But if I do that, I'm stuck, so I gotta push it. Compulsor. Oh, jeez! Okay. That's all I can do from there. Now. I could pull from here. If I push it into this corner, I'm stuck. Unless... Hey, okay. Now I'm... No. Here we go. Bridge that gap. Could you, could you just... All right, to do that, I got to... I can't go all the, all the way over there. Bridge this gap right there. That block is in my way. I need to somehow get it over here, but to stop there and then into that. So I need to get it over one. But there's no block that stops it over one. And when it gets over there, it's stuck and I can't free it. Can I separate them? I can't separate them. All right, so there's no way for me to get it to stop on this line unless I position a block specifically to do that. Maybe I can separate them. Now, once they're together, I, I can't separate them. So 
so I can't scooch it down a notch. All this does is bring it back into this row. Which is not helpful. I wanted to get one over here to send it down there. But I can't get it into that gap. So all I can do now is push it all the way back. Do I ride on it? I'm not fast enough to do that. And then from here, I can only push it against that wall again. Ox, reset it from there and send it to the right, says Cat. Oh. Depulso. Uh, I can't, I can't Depulso from above. Oh, but I can Accio. Accio! Ah. Uh... Depulso! Huh. Huh. That'll do it. Uh. Accio! Boom! Uh. Well? <laughs> Reset it? That's the last of them. Seems I was a match for Herodiana Byrne after all. And this must be the last piece of Herodiana's ensemble. It is remarkable. No wonder Sophronia wants to see this. Thank you, Cat. Revelio. But no clue as to what happened to her. Rebellion. If I'm what survives the reign of this headmaster, I think we should have a moon calf in charge. Alohomora. Might as well be so happy. Mine now, Demi guys. Hey! What do we have here? A Demi guys. Oh, man. Revelio. Attention! I have been advised that various members of staff would like to organize a social gathering. I have no objection to this and shall leave it to those so inclined to fraternize. <coughs> Pardon me, ensuring that such activities fall outside of school hours, of course, and that nothing so jovial as to disrupt my concentration should occur. Likely I shall be busy on that on the date. <laughs> of course. He's like, oh yeah, whatever date you choose, I'll, I'll be busy. I'm busy on that date. But I will review the invitation when, it, when I receive it. I recognize that my absence will mar the engagement. Oh, who is the... Oh, of course, it's the headmaster. 
Also, one half of an hour should be sufficient, and please be mindful that any sort of musical presence would be strictly prohibited. Phineas Nigellus Black, Headmaster. P.S. No confectionery shall be served lest they attract a stray rat or kneesel. Also, please try to limit the number involved in this frivolity to four. Wow, this guy. This guy. How does a guy like this even exist? How does he become headmaster? Rebellion. Bogart Closet. This old cupboard is said to have once contained a powerful Bogart that five professors working together could barely repel as it shifted among werewolf tornado, a plate of haggis, a Hungarian horntail, and someone's mother-in-law. Boy, that's a lot of awful things, huh? <laughs> Collection updated. Revelio. Okay. Pretty. Never forget what that Hufflepuff girl said in 1421. What lovely stuff. Oh, that's Uh, Julian Z says, guess what? Now there are a few of these puzzle rooms scattered throughout Hogwarts with chests in them. They're a bit more challenging. All right, thank you. I'll look into them. What have you done? Yes, I said forever, but this wasn't what I meant at all. Well, are you happy now? Oh, please wait. Sophronia, I solved all the puzzles in the Hall of Herodiana. Incredible! Then you found Herodiana's outfit. May I see it? Yes. Yes for a fee or no. You should have found it yourself. Will be nice. She's a kid. Of course. Behold. Oh, how grand! You'll look as majestic as Herodiana herself, the greatest Depulso master of all time. You're my second favorite hero. Quest complete, the Hall of Herodiana. So we didn't have to give her the outfit? Revelio. Alohomora. Rebellion. I'm in someone's private quarters. Goodness. Dear Professor Shaw, thank you for your recent submission regarding celestial anomalies. It may be a perfect addition to an atlas I'm hoping to publish. I shall be in touch if I decide to include your submission or any of its related research in the publication. Best wishes, MPN Carnerius. Revelio. Alohomora. Let's loop.
Revelio. Okay, clear and clear. Jillian Z says, Ox, I gotta ask, who's worse in your opinion? The headmaster or that guy from the Institute that no one likes? Sorry, I forgot his name, Justin Ayo. Um, I mean, this guy's just a jerk for no reason. Justin Ayo has problems with people. When confronted with something that he did wrong, he owns up to his mistakes. He genuinely wants the best for the Institute. This headmaster guy, I don't know what his motives are, and he just seems to be a jerk for the sake of being a jerk. All right, the bell tower wing. Play summoner's court. Lisa on Facebook says, Hi, Oxhorn. I hope you see this. Love Dead Space and also loving the Hogwarts gameplay and lore videos. Liam and I have been fans for a long time when I first found you on YouTube with Fallout, and that was it. The Fallout story that made me cry was the toy maker, Arlen Glass. Hope you have a good evening. Take care, Lisa and Liam. Thanks to both of you. Yeah, the Arlen Glass toy maker story was really well done. Hello, Samantha. Are you here for someone as caught? I am. I'm actually rather good at it. Used to play all the time with my brother until... Oh, never mind. Shall we begin? Sure. Yes, I'm ready to play. Then let's get summoning. Okay. Whoops! You have to do better than that. I was hoping. It's a toggle. I was holding it. I released yes. it in time. <laughs> but it's a toggle. You toggle it on and off. That well, was sensational. Akia. Ooh. All right, I got to knock her out. I think I can do it if yes. I knock her off. Tie. That simply won't do. A rematch then. <laughs> that simply won't do. Tie. Good match. Care to have another go? Let's do it. But of course. Splendid. Rachel says, easy demi guys, great hall and divination class. All right, I'll try to Accio. remember. Oh, yeah. What was I thinking? What were you thinking? My turn. Toggle, toggle, toggle. Accio. Yeah. <laughs> so there are big gravitational wells on the board. Do you see that? 
making it difficult. <laughs> Average Zombie says, did you get all of the flying keys yet? Hunting the last one took me nearly an hour. Thanks for playing. You got me to buy it and I love it. Keep at it. Thank you, Average Zombie. I've got two left to go. I haven't bothered hunting them, but as I've come across them, I've done them, and I've got two left. Akio. Ah! You'll have to do better than that. Akio! Yeah! How am I to top that? That settles it, then. <laughs> Hooray! After your poor show against Natty in class, I thought I could beat you. Appears I overestimated myself. You played well. Don't say that, Samantha. You're a fine player. Well, that's very kind of you. Let's just say if I'm good, then you're better. I happen to know who you're up against next, and she's no shy opponent. Best of luck. Right. Okay, divination class in the Great Hall. All side quests done. Great haul. The problem with the keys Off is I don't know are we? which ones I don't have. Oh, stop. Stop. Just go to the thing. Yes. One more to go. Nice. Revelio. Revelio. Aloha Mora. Revelio. Okay, come on, guys. Come on, guys. Where is it, my guys? Oh. Oh, man. Okay, 24. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine, sixteen. Spider? Spider. Okay. 
14, uh, 11. And then what is that, a walrus? So zero plus zero, right? So three. Hydra. Collection updated, one or two rules card. Forest Rivet Gloves. Rebellion. Hmm. Rachel says, Ox, southwest corner of the hall. Okay. Is there a compass? Do I have a south? Locked door. Alohomora. Just gonna lock this while everyone's eating dinner. Revelio. Murder. Mine now, Demi guys. Okay, I can't carry any more Wigan Welds. Now divination. Ah, wow, forty-four of fifty, six more to go. For those, Revelio. Something tinkled. I'm getting tinkles here. Now the tinkles are faint. Revelio. Now they're gone. Okay, maybe it's just the flu flame. All right, anyway, focus. Divination. Lyco says, I think your last key is in the clock tower, Ox. Good luck. Nice to see you, my young friend. Great, I'll check that next. Maybe I got the one in divination already. Yeah, I think I got it, guys. All right, so if the last key is in the, co uh, the clock tower, let's go there and see if I can find it. Oh, that's right, this is a puzzle, isn't it?
Revelio. Okay, there's a chest on the other side of that door. Alohomora. Revelio. Ah! Oh my God, we're going up. Going up! Crap! I'm coming! Aha! Found it! Thank you, Lycos! That's it. That's the last one. The Daedalian keys. I just gotta go turn them in to see what on earth is in that chest. Revelio. Right, well, while we're here, uh, we got some other things to tackle. What is this? That's the door that opens. Oh, okay. Okay, let's see if we can figure out this puzzle. Oh. Arrest on the I did it too late. I got to I got to arrest a memento it on the icon. <laughs> got to time it just right. Yeah. Oh yeah, let me in. Woohoo! What do we got? Jobber knuckle statue. Jobber knuckle. And a regal blue collection. But am I gonna get locked Rebellion. in here? Okay. So we gotta find the symbols on the other doors. Um. There's a door above me. How do I get up there? I got that door. Ah! Oh, this is that area that I tried to explore during the quest. Revelio. I passed it. Yeah. Okay, so I was here for that one quest, the stealth mission. Revelio. <clears throat> clock mechanics. <clears throat> While the moving gears of the clock's uh, tower's inner mechanics serve as a deterrent to many, others find the primacy offered by the cogs and wheels appealing.
Okay, so there's one below me. I somehow passed it <clears throat> when I went up those steps. Let's see if we can find <clears throat> a mezzanine level or something. Revelio. There it is, in that room. Oh, we did. We passed it. We walked right by it. Okay, so it looks kind of like uh, an archer. There it is. Arrest the momentum. Got it. Ooh, unidentified back item. Revelio. And then there's one more on the ground floor, I believe. Let's go find out what that symbol is. Then we'll go to the Ravenclaw house, turn in the tokens, see what that is, and then... Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think we may be ready to tackle the primary plot. Oh, that's like uh, an owl face. Arrest on momentum. Really? There we go. Revelio. Oh, great. Some medieval torture equipment. Of course, that's in the castle. <laughs> All right, so that there was actually another one. So that was the third one, and there's a fourth one down on the ground floor. All right, this symbol is unicorn. Oh God, I can't see the symbols. It was on Unicorn. Arrest the momentum. Hold. 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 Ah! Solve Hogwarts Secrets Challenge Complete. All right. What I get, I got totems. Revelio. Challenges. <clears throat> Exploration. Solve Hogwarts Secrets. Tailored tailcoat. Cool. Have we here? Aloha Mora. Wow. 
Revelio. Oh, it's one of those. Lumos. Outside in a courtyard. Okay, so we're going to be in the clock tower courtyard beneath an arch. It must be Halloween. Look at all the pumpkins. One of these arches. There it is. Okay, we need four more in Hogwarts, and that I think does it Revelio. for the clock tower. All secrets uncovered. Nice. Now, let's go turn in the Ravenclaw thing. Um, let's see, where, where where is that Ravenclaw house? Uh, charms. Ravenclaw Common Room. Mercolator says, I've been listening to your playlist of 154 videos covering New Vegas from five years ago. It's been a perfect way to get through work, and you paint the picture with your words, so I don't even have to watch if I'm unable. Thank you, Mercolator. I had such a great time putting together that series, and I'm doing a full story of Fallout 4 right now, if you're interested. Okay, let's plug him in. Three. Another house token for the house chest. Two. One. Here we go. The zero. last house token. What Time is it? Time to see what's inside. And... Well, look at that. Thanks goes to the former headmistress, Eupraxia Mole. Okay, it was a Ravenclaw house uniform. Uh, it was a robe. It was just a skin, though. This, Ravenclaw relic house uniform. A house robe for the wise and clever Ravenclaw earned by using the Daedalian keys to unlock your house chest. Look at that, very splendiferous, but I like that better. <laughs> okay, that was Mercolator's first super chat. Thank you, Mercolator. I've got an unidentified item. Let's go identify it. Golden wooden spectacles, a Quidditch robe, all worse than what I've got. Quests. Daedalian keys. Now that I've opened the house chest, I should share what I've learned with Nelly. Sweeping the competition, speak with Amelia Reyes, the man behind the moons. I need 13. How many do I have? Quest items. I have seven. All right, so I'm over halfway there. Right, let's turn in the Daedalian keys.
Hello, Nelly. Actually, I found all of the keys and opened my house chest. Oh, wonderful. What did you find? I found a rather interesting costume. Brilliant. Oh, well, thank you for solving that mystery for me. I always wondered what those keys would lead to. Done. Okay. Now, before we move on to the primary quest, we need to do sweeping the competition. Speak with Emilia... Imelda Reyes. Oh, it's all the way down here. Oh, my God. <laughs> okay. Well... Let's go this way and see what kind of trouble we can get into along the way. Did we fully explore this town? I think we did. Revelio. who ran all those goblin loyalists off. Yeah. Hello, Mr. Semi. What can I do for you? Let's sell. What do you have for sale? What can I help you with today? I collected all of this in Hogwarts. Remember, I just went through all of my inventory. <laughs> Okay. I hope to see you again sometime. Flying low, in case we pass over anything of interest. Ooh, a dungeon. Okay, I'm starting to get a handle on uh, the whole stupefy Protego thing. Now, where was the dungeon? I saw it here. Give me all that moonstone. All right, I'm, I'm right on top of it. Revelio. Oh, wait, no, it was a beast lair? Mongrel Lair. Oh, okay. Well, I cleared it. I thought it looked like a cave entrance, but no.
Revelio. Julian Z says Revelio on broom to see what's around. Thank you, Julian Z. Revelio. Lace Doily. The locals say that this doily was left as tribute to a beloved house elf who dreamed of one day wearing it. Poor house elves. Okay, well, we need to finish figuring out this puzzle. One over there, one up there. Butterflies. Lumos. Lead me to the treasure. I turned it into a sheep. It is. Large rugs. Okay, but I need to find the next uh, power. Wow, I can't walk this way. Invisible wall. Can bring it. Potato. Stupid one. Wow. I'm trying to navigate this terrain. Okay, where's where is it? We saw it. There's three. Abandoned long ago, no we doubt. Got one. We got two. This could prove dangerous if I'm not careful. Revelio. Okay, map says there is a dungeon here. Treasure vault. I bet it's in the treasure vault. How do we get into the treasure vault? It says I'm standing right on top of it. Revelio.
Freddy, uh, Freddy Simmons says, for the pendulum puzzle, there were matching symbols on the floor. I see. Oh, that would have made it easier from the ground. Lycos says, G guess that was a wolf in sheep's clothing, eh? Well, it certainly became one. Okay, I'm right on the treasure vault. Revelio. I can see something down there. See that? But how do I get there? There's got to be like an entrance, I bet, over here. Annoyingly, they don't target the entrance. <laughs> oh, there it is. That wasn't so difficult. Julian Z says the wooden floor in that ruin looks interesting. Oh. These rocks have seen better days. <laughs> oh my god. Julian Z, you are a genius. I should investigate. Rebellion. Black bowler hat. Wingardium Leviosa. It's got a fire icon on it. Levioso. Confringo. I guess it has to be the right side up. Wingardium Leviosa. Wingardium Leviosa. not letting me move it. Maybe it's already working. Revelio. It already works, says Jasmina. Oh. Well, what did it do? Incendio. Revelio. Well, what did it do if it already worked? A castle must have been quite stately in its time. I guess I'll never know. Akio.
Revelio. Nothing to put. Sometimes I do wonder if your eyes are still in your head. You'll regret crossing my. I find the. Show yourself! Left. Expelliarmus. Depulsor. Expelliarmus. <laughs> You dare slay one of mine? Protego! Stupid one! Expelliarmus! Stupid one! Glacius! Compulsor! Rebellion. Hey, what's this? I think I get a new uh, creature. Alohomora. I'm gonna kill the poachers so I can poach what they've got. <laughs> Resto momentum. Got Settle it. Settle yourself. I mean you no harm. I got a whooper. All right. Unidentified back item. Revelio. Laceration three, nice. I know a Merlin trial when I see one. Revelio. Repairer. Okay, where's the other one? Revelio. There it is. Incendio. Repairer. I myself would be proud. Merlin trial done. Padre says it's fashionable nowadays for parents to choose Spanish Scandinavian names for their babies. There's one Bjorn every minute. Ox had a girlfriend walk out on him for being too old fashioned. He thought they had good alchemy. Thank you, Padre. Doxy egg.
Stolen by poachers for use in potions, these black eggs come from a doxy, a magical beast sometimes mistaken for a fairy. Guess I can't take it. All right now, there is a beast habitat up here. Fwooper Den. Let's go get some Fwoopers. Arrest that momentum. Don't. Come on. Arrest the momentum. Get me all the floopers. Revelio. Is that it? Arrest the momentum. No oh, need come to on. be difficult. I mean you no harm. Now, now, I'm only trying to help. Arrest the momentum. How is it out of range? Right, won't you? Arrest the momentum. Got it. Is that all the floopers? I think so. I need flooper feathers for higher tier enchantments. Revelio. Ooh. You come to the wrong place, child. This is utter nonsense. I've never heard such rubbish in all my life. I think I get more sense of yeah. it. Oh, oh, no, 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 you're a slipper. Stupid. 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 Stupid.
It's shameful what you've done to helpless beasts. Achievement unlocked. Defeat Dark Wizard. Revelio. What I get? I got Control 3. Interesting. Oh, there's another one. I'm getting all the floopers today. Alohomora. No, you don't. How did my arrest of momentum not work? Go. Ah. Oh, well, I have enough whoopers. Arrest the moment. But I want this one! Ooh, invisible wall. And of course he can fly over it, but I can't. Oh. No beast targeted. I can't get closer! Ah, oh, screw this. Alt Grendel says, chat says Leviosa lasts longer. Oh, that's what I said do Leviosa in the tutorial. All right, I'll use it from, more, uh, from now on. Thank you. At last, we made it. Here we are. Mr. Weeks wasn't wrong about the mountain views. If it isn't the fastest Ravenclaw, Yeah, you guys wait for me. I'm gonna loot. Madam Scribner doesn't. All right, let's do a hard save. It's been a while since I've done that. Nonsense. So I find the library is the best place for them. Hello, Amelda. So, another trial? <laughs> of course, it's another trial. And you'd better be taking part. Does this mean you've changed your mind about me? Well, you're a step up from the good-for-nothings who usually challenge me. Well, they sit around and hope to be the best, I put in hours of practice. No one sets records by wishing for them. And I need strong competition to stay on top of my game. Are you going to try to beat my flying record or not? Strong competition. Could that have been a compliment, Amelda? Go ahead, believe what you want. Makes no difference. Compliments make people soft. 
No one goes round telling me I did a fine job. And do I care? <sighs> no. I say I'm the best and that's all I need. So please, try to beat my record, fifth year. And don't be disappointed when you lose. This kid is insufferable. Padre says, how do you know a Finnish man is madly in love with his wife? I am worried about where this is going to go. <clears throat> he almost tells her. Oh, okay. That didn't go in the direction I thought it would. Oh, thank you for that one. Uh, insight into Finnish culture, I guess. What is the most heavenly language? Finnish, because it takes an eternity to learn. It's heaven is eternity. Why are we doing Finnish jokes? What? <laughs> <laughs> what in the game had anything to do with the fins? Those are for you there, bud. Oh, okay. Maybe it was for chat. Finish jokes for chat. Thank you, Padre. I'm ready to fly. Finally, a decent challenge. Oh. So is it a race or what? Looks like it's a race. I'd say that was acceptable. Penalty time zero. Race time 210. Nice. Did I beat her? I wish the head had You've improved, I must admit. That was a bloody good run. Be careful. Earn a reputation for talent around here, and some people get put out about it. Sounds like you're speaking from experience. <laughs> yes, well, I am. Anyway, you didn't do abysmally. I can't deny that. But you'll not have the same luck on the South Coast course. Ugh. More racing, huh? You said your reputation for talent put some people out. Like whom? Hmm. If you must know, I've had to deal with jealousy from members of my own house. When we were first years, Nerida Roberts and I spent loads of time on our brooms, pledged to fly every day. As my skill on a broom grew, rapidly I might add, <laughs> Nerida suddenly didn't have time for flying practice. I tried to give her pointers, but she didn't have the natural ability I did. Clearly, she was jealous. Uh... Her thing spends all her time now dawdling by the lake, obsessed with mer people. Won't even learn to swim. I refuse to downplay my talents to coddle someone else's fragile ego. <sighs> anyway, 
I need to ready the next course. Stop by when it's ready, if you can handle it. Maybe she's not jealous and you're just an ass. We'll see, won't we? Till next time. I half expected you to back down. Rest on your laurels. See you at the uh, South Coast trial, if you don't lose your nerve. What an to race this course kid. again, visit the podium with the leaderboard, where you can start the race and check your time. Von Rex says, Wow, Ox, you really got this flying thing Another down. Another successful flight. I should let Mr. Weeks know. How much know. you think Black will be headmaster? I uh, got America. lucky that there were a lot of stretches of and come back straight paths in that one. At the beginning, it was more difficult, and I missed more bubbles because there were a lot of twists and turns. But then it straightened out, and it became easier. Okay, return to Albie Weeks. Oh, there's an entire town down here with a bunch of stuff, but you know what? I haven't had a quest that sent me here yet. I'm going to do all of that later. Let's go back to Albie Weeks, and then, finally... We can return to the primary plot. What are you up to now? Wouldn't you like to know? Oh, sentient, sentient talking post. I mean, the uh, Hogwarts universe is kind of horrible because you've got all of these sentient paintings and talking posts and statues You're that back. appear... Back from your latest flight. I want to hear all the particulars. They appear to be self-aware, and yet they can never move. Good news, Mr. Weeks. With your upgrade, I was able to set a new record at the Irondale course. Brilliant! I knew the upgrade had fantastic potential. How did your broom feel? It rides well. It does get a tad shaky at top speed, and the handle wobbles a bit when I hit a strong gust of wind. Ah, yes. Hmm, I see. I think I know how to address that. Thank you. I owe you one. If it means another upgrade, the pleasure's all mine. You sound as determined as I am to improve broom flight. It's a joy to have a collaborator like yourself. If I'm right, and I do hope I am, you'll be hearing good news from me soon. Thank you again, truly. Quest complete, sweeping the competition. Mr. Weeks and I do make a good team. What are we looking for today? First, let's sell. Worse. Worse. An identified item. Worse. Worse. These are just different skins for the brooms. Thanks for stopping by. Hope to see you again. Okay, any quests in Hogsmeade? I don't think so. There are some on the world map, though. But I'd have to explore each of these towns. All right, in the shadow of... The estate. I promised Sebastian I would meet him in Feldcroft. That's where we need to go. And holy cow, there's a lot of stuff along the way. Oh, there's a side quest in Irondale. Talk to Athelia Twiddle. Reward wand handles. It sounds like it might be pretty simple. Okay, let's go back to Hogwarts. Let's identify our item. Things. You should be proud of all the potions you've brewed. Embellished cobalt overcoat. It's better. Eighty-six. Yeah. Increased damage with defendo. Wow. That is schnazzy. A bit too schnazzy. Oh, 
But you know I don't have that yet. I can't do the laceration one, which I got, because I need uh, I need kinesel fur and what is that dairy crawl fle uh, feather? Okay, let's release our whoopers. Okay, I need nifflers. I need moon caps. Do I need jobber nulls or puff skis? Let me figure that out. Jabbernal. I need toad warts for that. Niffler. Jabbernal. Flooper. Oh my god. Why do I need ingredients from all of these creatures when I don't have room for more than four different species? Well, I can't put any of these foopers down. Interesting, the girl and boy foopers have uh, different icons. That one appears to be a rare one. That one is too. It's got a plus sign next to it. Beast limit reached. Well. I'll get room later, says the chat, and I've got plenty of room in my bag, so I'm just gonna keep things the way they are for now. I really don't want to have to harvest from them right now. Okay. In the shadow of the estate. Let's go here, but I can't fast travel there yet. I can't, I can't fast travel anywhere. Oh God, this is the closest I can get. Looks like we're gonna get into a lot of trouble along the way. Julian Z says paintings of people can visit other paintings and enjoy what's there. Also, if a person has many paintings of themselves, they move between each. It's like each. a place right out of a storybook. Interesting, thank you, Julian. That answers my question. Well, might as well sell while I'm here. Nice to see you again. Likewise. What can I help you with today? What do you have for sale? What are we looking for today? This will do just fine. Thank you. Thank you for stopping in. I appreciate it. Revelio. This place has seen better days. It's back? How is the ball back? The pulsar. All right, Chad was saying earlier that there's a secret door down here. That I did indeed loot the chest, but there was a secret door. Revelio. Wingardium 
If there is a secret door, I don't know how to get it. Incendio. I moved the brick, I used Incendio, and no secret door is opening. So, well, I think I did my due diligence there. Revelio. Bandit camp. Oh, and there's an invisible wall on the way. I can't go over the mountain. All right, well, if I can't fly straight there, looks like I gotta go around. Revelio. Intriguing. Revelio. Jeweled brooch. The gorgeous brooch depicts a magical bird of some sort. Which particular magical bird is unclear, but some believe it's meant to represent one of medieval Irish druidess uh, Cleodna's birds who sang the sick to sleep. I'm guessing that bur that brooch on the ground there. All right, so this is a new town. Revelio. Oh man, all right. We've, this is the one with the side quest. Let's see what's up your sleeve this time, Merlin. Revelio. Okay, well, they're in pairs of three. We got these three. Sorts of Ashwinder eggs. Revelio. Huh. 
We must be thorough in our search of these hamlets. Ranrock already has troops searching other areas and landmarks. Thus relocating you would only slow our efforts. Remain at your station. Continue the search. Be vigilant. You will be notified if anything changes. Morton Vinther says, finally got my golden hat. Member for 24 months. Thank you, Morton Vinther. Congratulations. Huh. Revelio. I'm not attacking them. I'm not attacking the Jobbernal. Jeez. Auto aim. Revelio. Right. Well, I guess I'm going to have to search this entire town for the next ones. So we got the ones on that hillside. Oh, there's some over here. Revelio. This could prove dangerous if I'm not careful. Accio. Revelio. This is the house I already looted. Ooh, are those them? Wait, is that a demo, guys? It must lead to something grand. Got it. Oh, there they are. Not so tricky after all, Merlin. Revelio. Fast travel marker. Is that... Alohomora. It isn't. Unidentified face item. Revelio. Alohomora. Revelio. Oh, hey. <laughs> Is that another one? Gosh, these Merlin trials are everywhere. Could it be? A Merlin trial. Confringo. The 
mysterious and a bit unsettling. What to do? Okay, so I found two of them, but these things come in threes. One. Two. this Revelio There is something beyond there Zingani Leviosa Levioso but maybe I'm not supposed to figure it out yet. Okay, one, two, where's the third? Wait, there it is. Looks rather dark in there. Never stopped me before. Crap. That's that. Settled. <laughs> Quest Dungeon, says Quell, uh, Quell Biggs. Yeah, I thought it might be something like that. Revelio. Okay. Well, let's finish looting this town, and then let's get this side quest and see if it's easy and nearby. Then we'll continue with the primary plot. Revelio. I think that's it. That's all the loot. Fascinating, true. Excuse me, madam. I thought I heard you say something. Oh, yes, indeed. Talking to myself again. I find myself to be quite the engaging conversationalist since my husband passed. Ah. Madam Althea Twiddle, pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you too, madam Twiddle. You know, you might be interested in this. You young people love this sort of thing. My husband often ruminated on the mysterious statue just outside our hamlet. Some sort of archaic puzzle involving vases, he would insist. I stumbled upon it today when I had a burst of energy and extended my morning constitutional a bit longer than usual. Oh, I do enjoy a good puzzle. An archaic puzzle? Sounds fascinating. You see, I suspected you'd be interested, and wait till I tell you about the rumours surrounding this particular puzzle. 
My husband Greville insisted that solving the puzzle would reveal a magical challenge of sorts. The man was intrigued by everything. He was about to try and solve it himself when... <sighs> Perhaps you could take a look. I'd be There's rather someone interested lying down behind to hear her? what, if anything, you find. Where can I find this statue? It's not far from Irondale. It's down by the shore, near those old ruins. You can't miss it. But if I happen to see it, I'll have a look. Ah, the spirit of youth. I do hope you'll be able to solve the puzzle. If not for me, then in Greville's memory. Who's lying down on the ground? Oh, good. She's okay. I thought, thought someone was injured or something. I should look into the statue Madam Twiddle mentioned. Right, okay. Revelio. Oh, oh, there's another chest. How did I miss this? Okay. I think this town is well and truly looted. And we've got a merchant. Hello, nice to meet you. Oh, hello. Uh, the name is Porrick Haggerty, and this is my shop. W what may I help you with? I'd like to ask you about your shop, if you don't mind. Certainly, that'd be fine. What would you like to know? Padre says, Ox, the reason I keep dropping lame-ass dad jokes is to watch you laugh, and the chat seems to enjoy them. Craig has terminal cancer, and I've buried a few folks that have that condition. Please be sure to keep him involved in chat. Thank you, Padre. Uh, Craig, uh, we, heard, we heard his story a bit ago. I don't see any messages from him right now, but of course he has my deepest sympathy and the entire community's well wishes. Thank you very much, Padre. What sort of products do you sell? I sell all manner of beast products. I always found beasts interesting, and there's quite a market for them. Fancied I could make a profession out of it. How long have you been living in Irondale? All of my life. My sister and I were raised here. I stuck around. <sighs> she had other plans. I hear there's a goblin mine near here. Have you ever seen it? I've been uh, near it, but never in it. I could likely find some valuable beast products, but it's not worth the risk. Ranrock's loyalists are not ones to be messed with. There's a goblin mine in this town? Julian Z says, did you find the treasure vault in this town? I didn't know there was one. Uh, yeah. I guess I'll have to look. What do you have for sale? What can I help you with today? Beast parts. Worse. It's uh, good luck Worse. for me. You stopped by today. Glad you were able to stop by. Budweiser says, I'm not sure if it was the big C, but we also lost Jack Schmidt. No, oh, really? I remember when he used to come by. That's so sad to hear. Thank you for the update, bud. Okay, uh, well, that there's where I need to go for battle arena? What? What is a battle arena? Fight waves of enemies in this combat challenge. Oh, my God. And that's where we need to go for Madam Twiddle's mysterious statue. But look, there's an ancient magic hotspot here. Oh, and there's the treasure vault. Let's do the treasure vault first. Who would have thought that butterflies of all things would lead someone to treasure? Hmm. I didn't hear that because I was sneezing. Well, well. Revelio. I should investigate. Is that it? That's it.
Klalbeg says, we don't know if he's dead, we just haven't seen him in a long time. You know who I haven't heard from in a long time? Vladimir. He used to come by quite often. And then uh, the war in Ukraine started and I haven't seen him. I remember seeing a comment from him that he was really devastated with what Russia was doing. Um, and then he kind of vanished, so I, I think about him a lot. I hope he's okay. Alright, tell you what, this is on the way. Let's go get the Ancient Magic Hotspot. Revelio. Landing platforms 104. Okay. Incendio. Revelio. Goodness. Well, that just fell on me. Ice. Okay, we need to get it to that platform over there. Um. Wingardium Leviosa. It does have the ice marker on it, right? Revelio. We got some money up there. Let's see, we found the cube in here. Still don't know what it did. We put it in the right spot. There's money up there. Or a chest of some sort up there. All right, I think I see how we can get up there. Ah! I don't care. Yay! <laughs> Alright, and then... Revelio! That wasn't too hard. Looks intriguing. Revelio. Well, again, I don't know. Um what that cube is for. These rocks have seen better days. Oh, it just disappeared. Okay. Well, maybe after looting it, I solved it. All right, so we got the ancient magic. 
That's where we need to go for the quest. Apparently there's an arena there, but there's a Merlin trial there. So many Merlin trials. Revelio. One less follower, Ranrock. Laceration one. Revelio. All right, so that's for the Merlin trial. One right there, one right there, one right there. Gosh. <laughs> James17 says, enjoying your gameplay on a long road trip, play on stir. Thank you, my friend. Okay, so what do we do here? The pulsa. would be proud. This must be the goblin mine. Revelio. That we heard about. This could prove dangerous if I'm not careful. He keeps saying that, but so far they've they've hardly been dangerous at all. <laughs> A blood red fedora. Revelio. Yeah, not so much danger here. Are those jackdaws? <clears throat> A jobber null, whatever that is. All right. All right, that's it. Let's head on to the quest destination. This looks like the statue Madam Twiddle mentioned. Why are there so many vases around here? Oh, 
I suppose I should try to find all the vases. Revelio. Okay. Blow up the vases. Revelio. Can do. <coughs> Treasure. Ooh, and a merchant. I mean, they won't let me land, but I can still loot it while I'm <laughs> on my uh, broom. Hello. Do you have anything for sale? Hello. It's not often I see Hogwarts students here during the school year. I'm Priya Treadwell at your service, and I sell a variety of traveling necessities. Are you related to Nora Treadwell? Why, yes. She's my wife. Brilliant historian. Did you know that she's pursuing Merlin's life's work? I actually met her and she introduced me to her work. I'm involved in it now as well. Oh, that's wonderful. Then you must be rather brilliant as well. At any rate, I hope that you'll think of me whenever you find yourself in need of traveling supplies. It's been a pleasure meeting you. What do you have for sale? Let's have a look, shall we? Ooh, she's got a broom. 2,500. I mean, do I really want to collect all the broom skins in the game? <laughs> Maybe. All right, worse. <laughs> worse. I didn't think I'd be the one doing the buying. I'm not doing buying, I'm selling. So nice of you to stop by. Okay, back to vases. Revelio. Check the outskirts. <laughs> Activate the statue. Dear God, what's going to happen? Manual save. Activate the statue, it says. How? Okay, uh, the vases around the ruins and the statue itself, surely they wouldn't be missed if I were to break them. <laughs> Glacius, Expelliarmus, Depulso. Wingardium Leviosa, Confringo, Arresto Momentum, Incendio, Flupendo, Depulso, Accio, Leviosa, Confringo. Did you break all the vases? I thought I did. 
Revelio. Oh no, I missed one. Thank you, chat. Oh my god. Ooh. That's okay. it. I should tell Madam Twiddle about what happened. Well, yeah, but what does it do? I activated the statue, but now what? Battle Arena, start! South Coast Battle Arena. Ready? Wave one. Oh, God. Crash to desktop. Oh, <laughs> in the middle of the waves. Crash to freaking desktop. Uh, always dodge to the right on trolls, says Erica. Okay. Well, um, it's been a while since we've had a crash to desktop during uh, during the game. So that's good at least. But not sure why it happened when I was in the middle of a combat. So annoying. Okay, let's try and get the game back up here. Because I want to finish what I started there. Is it... Oh. Is it still running? No. It says it's still running. But it's not up, actually. Oh, there we go. Just had to complete the crash. Let's see where we were. There we go. Prepare those shaders. They gotta be prepared. Lanely88 says, yeah, these challenges are hard. Like, unreasonably so, in my opinion, lol. I did make it. Well, hopefully, I'll be able to make it, too. I mean, I didn't die. I just crashed the desktop, so... Try again.
Celsius Celazar says, does anyone understand how Ox can throw stuff without using ancient magic? Um, it is ancient magic, but it doesn't consume the ancient magic meter. So from a lore perspective, you're using ancient magic, but from a gameplay perspective, it's just an innate ability that you have. All right, let's see where it puts us. I got it. One of 20. It's counting them now? Revelio. Oh my god. How did I not see the one of 20 thing earlier? Revelio. Revelio. Oh, I gotta loot the treasure again, too. That's it. I should tell Madam Twiddle about what happened. Let's see what happens. Challenge. Okay, I wonder where it'll start me. Oh. Round three. Ah, oh, wave one. Oh. 
So I can't pick up some of these barrels. Incendio. Confringo. Okay, don't crash. Incendio. 
Oh my gosh. Almost made it through. Well, that was an interesting challenge. Zarteth says, Magician, heal thyself. Okay, so that's what it does. It creates a, a challenge arena where you fight enemies, but you don't get loot. Okay, so I did loot it. So it saved after I loaded it. All right, let's go turn in this quest. if I'm safe to explore in there. <gasps> Mrs. Twiddle, your husband was right. The statue was part of a puzzle. Oh, really? How exciting! Yes. I had to destroy a number of large vases, and that seemed to activate some sort of charm on the statue. Well done! Oh, I miss having someone like you around with a thirst for knowledge and a quick mind. Well, my curiosity has been satisfied. Thank you for that. Who knows what I'll encounter on my next constitutional. That's it! Oh, my husband would be so pleased to know he was right about that statue. All right, side quests done. Well, we've been working the entire broadcast to whittle down our side quests just so that we can continue with this one. But sadly, even though I cleared this town, I am out of time. and We'll have to make it all the way to Feldcroft to work on In the Shadow of the Estate next week on Monday. Julian Z says, Ox, I think there are prizes after certain stages. Interesting, I may be interested in continuing some of those challenges. Let's do a hard save. And that's it. Thanks for joining me for today's broadcast, everybody. Thanks uh, for all of the commentary and all of the super chats. Tomorrow, Scotch and Smoke Rings. I haven't decided what game I want to play, but if you've got an idea, let me know in the comments section below. I'd love to hear what you've got to say. Or send me a link to a game you'd like me to play on Twitter, and I'll add it to my ever-growing list. <clears throat> Thanks, everybody, for coming. Have a wonderful rest of your day, and I'll see you tomorrow for Scotch and Smoke Rings. Bye-bye now.